Hello everybody. Today we are going to look into what's new in SweetCM 8.8. Okay, so let's go. So 8.8 is out there. You can install it and it seems to be a pretty good one. Let's go through the changes. So first of all, this will be from the next upgrade onwards on. So there will be some notifications about maybe you have some some non or some custom files that might be deleted in the upgrade and therefore you will have some notifications here but we can only see this from the next upgrade onwards then a lot of technical stuff so platform upgrade system requirement changes and so on but it's all for development if you develop you would go into depth into those details if you're just on the business side of things don't worry about it you can skip it for now this one here, we skip it as well because we will get to this in just a bit. And here, the first thing that is really good is an 8.3, PHP 8.3 support. That means you can now install standard LTS servers with 8.3 on it and everything is working smoothly. Before you always had to install another PHP version, maybe downgrade or whatever, have two running in the same at the same server, different virtual hosts and so on. So therefore, uh, current standards are being supported now, which is very good one. Then we've got filters on favorites and my items. Let's see how that looks like. So here I've got a 8.8 installation and I simply go to, for instance, accounts. And then if you look into the filters here, I can select my items and my favorites. So let's quickly give it a try. If I go to any of those and I would just mark two as my favorites, then I would be working with something else now. And I want to quickly go to my favorites that I'm currently working on. I can search for those and they will be displayed here right away. So that makes it very easy because you can always work with those which you have currently in your favorites and you will have them here. Same should be working for the assigned to me, but since I'm in the admin, I think nothing is assigned to me as such. So I can remove the favorites here again and then I should not be seeing anything inside the filters anymore. So if I go here now, filter is still active and there are no accounts. Therefore, everything is as it was expected very well. The next thing is the authentication. It's a 2FA now, which we can enable. And therefore, I need to go to my profile here. And inside the profile, you will see there's a new tab, two-factor authentication. Click on it. By default is the status disabled and now we can go to the configuration page here and now we can enable it. And for doing so, I click on enable. I need now my mobile phone with an authenticator app and you can use any like Microsoft or Google or I used Soho before as well. Everything should be fine. Click on the plus to add a new account. And now you can scan a QR code. So I would simply give it a try. And as you can see, it already worked out. And the first time that you have added it, you need to add your code here. So, and then I would wait for the next one because now I just had a new one generated and you only have it valid for 30 seconds. And now maybe you should get used to it right away. If you press tap and then enter, it will work smoothly. If you just press enter, it will not work to, to activate or, or log in or something. So what's this here? These are manual like recovery phrases, which would work one time, just in case you can't use your phone or what, for whichever reason, store those codes here inside your password manager. And then you can use this in order to log in in case you can't use your phone. But it's not the case here. We can use our phone at the moment. So therefore I'm going to give it a try. I want to log in. So I'm using the admin. And now, as you can see, I have to enter or authenticate via a one-time passcode. So I just have to enter this. 
and again tap enter and then it works and it was successful and I'm getting into the system here. So that makes things much more secure because now the CIKM can be pretty certain that it's you on the computer. You know, before you were able to share your, your password with somebody else and somebody else can just log in. But this one, yeah, that's better now. And you can do this from every single profile. So if I log in as another user, I would need to first enable it and then go through the process of yeah, adding it to my Authenticator app. So very nice feature, works very smoothly without any further issues. There are some information here, or the, some documentation if you want to go through this. One special thing, but you shouldn't get into this one in the first place if you have installed the 8.8 beta and maybe used it in production, which you should have not done. And then you would need to re-enable those codes because now they're encoded in a different way in the database. So just make sure that you um, regenerate those codes that we've just seen here and yeah, store those away. Another thing which is really, really good is the new view. So everything is more compact. If we go to the accounts, and then this one, the list view still looks a little bit like the list view before, but if you look into the details here, and then you will see we had a huge bar here with the opportunity and so on. This has moved to the right-hand side, then closed per year, just in case you already closed a couple of opportunities, then you see this here as well. And the timeline is a bit more compact, tidied up. It looks better with different colors and, and the dates are better to be seen as well. So overall, this is very good on the right hand side. So you've got a quick overview. And here where you actually have to work with the data on a day to day basis, and if you're just switching through it, you can see like everything, you don't have to scroll anymore in order to reach something, everything is just here, and it's much more compact. So I enjoy this, because I yeah, don't like scrolling that much. And here, same goes for the sub panels. You can fold, unfold those here. So this is very good as well. And then you can just yeah, add or activate whichever you need. And inside the sub panels, you see the details as well. So overall, everything became a little bit more visible, a bit more compact. And even if you switch to the mobile view, it still looks kind of okay. So as you can see, the, we don't have insights on the mobile view, but the rest, I think it's neatly done. You still have your panels here that you can activate or deactivate. If you hide the panels overview and just keep the sub panels activated that you want to see, it's very useful. And I think it's very easy to work with the data now on a day-to-day -day basis. So therefore, yeah, that was, like one missing feature, one missing step, it feels like in the UI, there was a little bit of, of room for improvement, but now we're getting somewhere where it's really useful for day-to-day -day usage. And as you can see, you've got a couple of details as well, what happened, what changed here. Demo data, so as I said already, I installed the demo data here and it has been like, it generated what more updated, it has been updated to generate more data and optimized to run faster, okay. So run faster, there's another performance update here. Um, we've seen a couple of performance updates already. So by now, after the last three, four major releases with performance updates should be the fastest system on earth, but actually don't expect too much. So everything is working quickly. You don't have great delays anymore. There have been a couple of of bugs or some certain areas where you notice like that's a bit slow, but overall this is working really fast. And I think the performance updates that we see now can only be measured by software. So one specific thing is which is getting really important is the log area, the log directory. So before it was in the public legacy folder from the old system. And now, as you can see, logs legacy, they move it over into uh, into the new folder, into the new root folder. Let's quickly change and check this out. So here I'm in the root folder 
And as you can see, there is the, the standard installation. And here we've got the logs, which we already had before. Oh. So here, the install log, the prod, which, which exists already since an early 8 version. And the new one is the legacy version. So here inside the legacy version, I've got now my sweet CRM log. So if you search something for debugging, pay attention to this one, because this one is a new yeah, location for the log file. You need to be aware of that one. The rest here is only like development again, so record mapper, safe handlers, logic, update, details, and so on. So if you're developing, you want to look into the details here, into the new documentation around it. And if you're just using the business side of things, don't worry about it. It's all for rather technical stuff. One more thing. So that was really urgent. Um, it wasn't possible to to have like special characters inside fields, inside um, long or text area fields. And this one has been fixed now. And it seems like there are a couple of those all yeah, around one specific uh, specific kind of bug, which, which happened to be there. So now this is fixed as well. And you can put yeah, special characters into your description again. So if you go here and you've got the description and you wanted to add some odd German characters, then this works and it will be displayed correctly. So therefore, yeah, very nice. This was kind of, of really urgent, especially if you have to work with any special characters. So that's overall it. I think this was quite a successful um, deployment or um, release because we have a little bit of UI upgrade. We've got some, some technical features and we've got some, some under the hood stuff and we've got quite a few bug fixes as well inside this deployment, inside this release. Therefore, I suggest you upgrade. This is really handy. It looks really good and it's fast and neat. So therefore, yeah, it's really worth doing the upgrade here into the 8.8 .8 version. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.